I haven't launched this game in a while. It's going to be hell loud, I bet. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. So you can skip the whole intro stuff for Borderlands 2, but not for 3. Lol. That is odd to say the least. That is pretty dumb. It, it's even like the same intros and everything. Spooters? Uh, blood spooters? Uh, no, I've just been farming spiders as well. Terraria is a game about farming. You're not wrong. Lots and lots of farming. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tired as well, so this is going to be interesting. Eh, uh, whatever. Not here for high quality entertainment tonight. It's it, I'm not around for any sort of help as well. It's not like I have to do. It. Although I'll probably hop off in a couple hours because it is Ciela night. Ciela, Ciela, Ciela. Oh, uh, Agito. Agito starts tomorrow, right? Uh, as in reset. Yeah, I'm not sure if yeah. I didn't know what was happening, but I'm really glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't run my uh, Kai Yang dailies today, then. Yeah, for sure. That awkward feeling when you're just sitting here, like, waiting for a snowstorm at a video game. I need a blizzard. Yeah. And I, I forgot this is where I left off in the game. Basically getting Sanctuary to fly. Oh, nice. Are you live then, Rick? Yeah, I'm live right now. Hello, people. Actually, you know, here, I can actually load your stream up on my other monitor. Aha, the power of two monitor. You say this like this is a new thing. It isn't, but it's now still a power. Now, if you were running three monitors, we would we would be talking. Nah. Right. 
Hold the E keys. And I'm not used to Lil looking vaguely normal compared to poor Lens 3. Normal is possible. Ever, ever, everyone's just like in your face in Borderlands when they talk to you. Especially Tannis. Yeah. Huh. Your world got rot. Yeah. Surprise, Tannis is a siren. Sorry, kid. That was an accident. How dare you? Spoilers. Like, like I said, man, I was sitting on that knowledge for God knows how long. You know it's really not pleasant, by the way. What's not pleasant? Yeah, yeah you get to hard world in Terraria, and the Hollow's just like, hey, I'm gonna spawn under your base. How does that sound? I thought it always had to spawn at, at ground level. I mean, that, but it still goes underground, though. It basically spawns at ground level, but then it kind of curved, like, under my base, basically. Oh. And I'm like, well, guess I have to spend the, the next, like, hour digging everything out. <laughs> Oh, uh, also this part because I've see gone through this part of the I've gone through this part of the game so much I don't have to listen to everybody talk. Welcome to Lucky Farm's 1% drop rate since not even Fire Emblem's Dragalia event launch. Well, I mean, I said in chat, but I mean, I'm I'm not rolling until the Tiki batter drops. I'll probably roll on both. I'm not, like, super enthusiastic about the hurt. Peony's probably going to be fine. I kind of want to roll in there simply for the reason that it's Fire Emblem trash. Basically. Tiki's legit though. Well, somebody, uh, somebody, something somebody was noting from the trailers, it looks like Tiki has her own uh, attack animations. So, she, so yeah, she might have a uh, buttons. So she, yeah, she might have her. She might be. A dragon. She might be her own dragon thing, and she can also have her uh, have a unique playstyle from the looks of it. That's the only thing that'll save Crom for me is if there's actually something like unique about him. He's not just either a better or worse Marth. And if he's a better Marth, a week after Marth came out, boy, people are gonna be mad. In general, people, uh, uh, the overall reception seems to be very, uh, oof. Shot me. Come on, hit him, dang it. Didn't hit him. Right, I don't have 
ungodly amounts of bullets and the ability to just live off of tossing in numerous amounts of grenades anymore. Unfortunate. Also the fact that I can't just vault up off things. And that you don't have a random mech. I don't have a mech to save to save me. Correct. Feels bad, man. Back down here. Where did... Oh, there he is. There he was. Where? Stop moving so fast. Trap is talking. Why must Claptrap talk? Because that is what Claptrap does. You know, it's here's the funny thing is that I'm actually I'm not playing as Krieg so I so I could say anything about wanting to hurt and dismantle Claptrap and nobody would think think twice because Krieg. This is this is correct. Stop moving. Damn it. Expert driving, eight out of ten. And you give me shit about it. You're no better than me. 
I have not screwed up driving one single time. Uh, oh. Right, that's why I have that shield. Let's see, so what was I... Ah, okay. And now back towards the fridge. It's kind of really interesting to watch like Soldier Four Lines Two, like as we're playing Three, just because you like then you notice like all the subtle differences. There's a lot. Like the one that's really irking me the most is the one that's irking me the most is definitely the not vaulting thing. That and melee, da like even with the fact I'm running up Kree, who is be best with melee, like even then, like melee damage is so much higher. Slaughterhouse, not worth it. <clears throat> Welcome to my humble shop. I've been following Jack's orders from the beginning. Jack modified the power core you found to have a Hyperion network uplink. Through it, I was able to access Sanctuary's defenses and lower them. It was all part of Jack's plan. Damn it. First encounter in the fridge went fantastic. Just went fantastic, looks over. Reconstruction fee. Oh, that kind of fantastic. Yep. And I blow myself up constantly because I forget I have those kind of grenades on. some of my issues that these guys have explosive weapons.
Oh, also badass Rax. Day, but what what cost? that comparison What's a bandit SMG? No. Hang on. Okay. We'll learn this trajectory. Uh, 
and then everyone died. Happy end. So I think I'm going the wrong way, but whatever, I'm already at this point. Alright, uh, now, now you can tell me to put the, uh, fishing rod down bottom. You're never gonna put down the fishing rod. Listen, when we start our own run, when the update happens, you'll be glad that someone's doing the fishing job. Because you know what's nice? Getting to hard mode and immediately having top tier armor. It is nice, yes. And not having to do that, do that part where you gotta like farm forever. You know, the part that kind of sucks. Right.
Yeah, yeah we'll replace it. I feel like I need to replace my grenade because the, the timer on the merv is not worth it. Finally, it's starting to get cloudy. Are you just fishing out in, in the frost biome? No, I'm waiting for a blizzard to show up so I can get some frost golems to spawn. Because I'm going to get the frost armor. Ah. I thought there was a way to just like force force a blizzard to happen. I could as be wrong though. As far as I'm aware, no. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of fishing in the meantime and trying to farm some of the other items I want. Yo, ranged is great. There's something about playing Terrari with a shotgun that's just incredibly satisfying. I don't know if I can go back, man. Yo, yos. I mean, they're all right. Hey, I do have a yo-yo bag. But if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior, you'll need my help because I know where the key is. It's with me. The frost boosts melee and range, so why not both? Poor K. No those dose. Ah, oh, that's what shield I have on. Got it. Also, is this Right, that's Thanks for the scratch. You're my million customer. Goodbye, friend. Didn't you shop anywhere else? Right, I just remembered you buy you buy bullet inventory with iridium in this one. It's not just hard cash. Yep.
Oh god, I hate stalkers. All the things that I remember I hate about this game. Most of the enemies. There we go. Under no circumstances are Hyperion robots to A. Approach the local pressures or B. Gain self-awareness. 
I smell a little drop. Did that pressure just eat the bacon? Uh, you'll need to get that back. Salt. So, I'm not worth my salt. Freak sucks. I've never played Krieg, but before I know of, it's just he is very, very. He's very weak until like level 30 ish, and then he can st finally start doing things, or he starts overpowering things so much that it's just like the work up to that payoff is then worth it. But hey, that's just me, at least from what I've played so far. I have played way too much of Gage, so that could possibly also be my issue. Gage is fun. I miss that days of Gage. You just like the mech ones, don't you? I think it's just some weird thing where I get cornered into... I think it's just that it comes from... Not from playing the mechs, but more or less just like, oh hey, I... Or just... Yeah, what is it? I get, it's like, oh hey, I would like to play this character. 
No, this person wants to play this character. Okay, I'll play this character then. No, I'll play this. Okay, then I'm just the I'm just the mercenary, the actual mercenary. I mean, I offered that. I'm just I I offered to fill. It just happens that Mose happens to be both. So whatever, we're at, we're at that point now. <laughs> You can play as dupes, but what's the fun of playing as two of the same character in a group of four? That is true, yeah. Okay, a man is up there just panting at me. Ow. I'm not fooled yet. take it. I, w I would like to prioritize though melee damage shields or spike shields whatever they're whatever they would like to be called this game. Huh, so it tells me it's supposed to go a different way. Whatever, we're here now. Oh no, I've been enjoying the cartel event by the way, Farf. It's been fantastic. It's real fun. Just because I know the sound and I can tell and I have and I can see the tell that says, hey, by the way, the cartel coming here. And usually and because I'm playing Mose with the grenade with the infinite ammo slash mech grenade build. Is what I secondaried in, so now I just like run up, throw a grenade, throw a grenade. Okay, there we go. Oh, cartel, throw a grenade. Okay, we're good again. Or, or as Gaia calls, fish. Fish. Gaia got fish. If you haven't seen it yet, far the fish, Mr. Fish's grenade, yeah, is good for I don't know Amara. I think it's name. Don't know if it's. A, I can't remember if it's Amara. Goldfish memory kicking in hard. Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel. 
Angel. We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping him anymore. Defend that beacon. Now, if you can't even handle these loaders, you're really gonna disappoint. I really hope that they just make me have to restart from the beginning of the whole event here. Okay, there it is.
Launching the fast travel station now. Nothing gets results like a death threat. Stop screaming! Stop dying at me! It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. Okay, is it done? Are we done yet now, Angel? The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate it to Sanctuary's new position. Fast travel station calibrated. Location, Sanctuary, is now available for travel. Go, quickly! Use the fast travel station and get back to Sanctuary. Angel, you and I are going to have a serious talk. Oh, this is oh well, that's something I didn't know about. Also, sorry to take so long to see that far. Apparently, we have to find fish slap again. Lucky. Oh, why? We have to, to uh, challenge us to kill him with melee. Oh no. Oh yes. I wonder how many of his six health bars we have to chunk through. This sounds awful. Before it counts it for the achievement. Okay, so quest line. Yeah, I'll do quest main quest for now. Oh good. The city is just all yellow exclamation points. That's what I wanted to see. I'm going to take his hand. The scent of my extremities will bring him out of hiding. Make him eager to finish the job, as it were. Plant my hand outside Slappy's lair in the Highlands. Look, we both know it's shit. Just pop him so I can get back to my. Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Ask around in Moxie and Stance, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all, and I don't got that kind of time. Or you could just shoot them all. Well, I heard a gunshot a couple hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, I found this boy bleeding on the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat. And when I saw one of these gutter boys on the that's all I know right now, more is the pity. He could be McCree far if you don't know this. You can just hot you just hit the high noon button. A gutter brother? Oh yeah. One of them barged in here a couple hours ago demanding a safe haven. I told him I couldn't make any promises and he got bitchy. I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. Shielded the first two, but boy, did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. Boop. Sure, I 
pulled a round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new, but the little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You don't mean to confiscate that or anything, do you? All right, not gonna lie, I wasn't listening, so I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot whatever one I feel like shooting. Also, I feel like this doesn't matter which one you pick in the end. Ah. They just get that pistol. Oh, hey, what do you know? Melee damage pistol. Eh, how oh well. Hey, Jack blasted my personal safe out of my own store. My most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeloading bandits by now. Head back to that city site, hole in the ground, and get my safe back. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so mad, dude. <laughs> the game finally gives me rage. And then I looked up on my screen. A goblin army is approaching from the west. Why? Why? I don't wanna. Feels bad, man. Leave me alone. Nah, your city's being confiscated. Uh, my choices are pretzel in my inner lobes. Oh. Well, that's bad. I'm gonna see how much I like law and then we'll see how much I like law for this build and then we'll go from there. Oh, I got doored. Oh, hi, Tannis. In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the opening of the vault and promptly forgot their locations. While I grind my teeth to dust and frustration, you will retrieve these journals for me. Okay, let's be the past travel. Got it. Oh, apparently if I'm just no, not near the base, the game's just like, fine, whatever. No goblin army. That's different. Like, I'm pretty sure they're waiting for you if you get there, but I don't think the notification ever used to go- the, the notification never used to go away. As far as I'm aware, like, I don't have any reason to clear it anymore. All right. All right, speak to Roland. Fair enough. Still doing this. The city may be safe right now, but what happens if Hyperion launches another barrage? We've got no shield. Ah, uh, good point. Let me get on the Echo. As she awkwardly slides into place. Oh, good. You're not dead. That's his way of saying, wow, you're a badass. I'm glad you're okay. Right. Sorry. We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. You? Damn it, we told you never to contact us again. Will you please just hear me out? Sure, let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault was full of loot? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. Continue. The 
key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient, but he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with iridium. If you find me, you find the vault key. The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Competitor deterrence field? What, like a death wall? It is a field of pure thermosonic energy programmed to atomize any unauthorized personnel. So yeah, a death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap. She would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming. Trap or not. If anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you, soldier. Head to the Hyperion Preserve. I think I know how to get past the first hurdle. All right. And it begins. Oh, Tannis has more quest. Is it bad that I legitimately like, forgot Tannis was a character? You will help me and I... She's been there since the first game. I think the only game she doesn't appear in is pre-sequel, and even then, she's there as like notes from notes from the doctor or something like that. Yeah, I just I just flat out forgot she existed. Where is my frost golems? Dead. I need to murder three of them. All right. Invitations. Okay. Nope. There you go, buddy. Hi, man. I think Roland wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook. See if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks have been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. That's nice, but unfortunately we have to do Claptrap's birthday first. Oh uh, yeah, that's a thing. What is the thing? Uh, the Claptrap's birthday. Where you invite everybody, nobody shows up, so you have to eat all the pizza, give them a high five, and yeah. At least I think that's the one. I'd say poor guy, but he's kind of a douche. Oh, sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. My purely platonic love. Don't want him getting any ideas. Dang. You know you messed up if, if even Moxie says no horny. I'm having fun. Alright, I have murdered one frost golem. <gasps> yeah.
You enjoy your party by yourself, Claptrap. I'm gonna put on this other pistol in the meantime. <laughs> when you said you enjoy your party by yourself, I thought you were talking to me and I was gonna feel really bad. Oh no, no, not you. Even though you are, even though you are playing by yourself right now. I, I thought you were being sassy. No, I'm not giving you sass. Mm. I have some yeah. form of I have some form of a heart. Feel free to mingle with um, nobody. <laughs> I felt genuinely bad for like a second there. Uh, got him? Uh. <laughs> Alright, give me more golems to murder, please. More pizza. I must eat all the pizza. I must eat all of the cake. I must break all the records. Why is it pause? Party over. I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for um, thanks for coming to my party, minion. It uh, looks like I bought way too much pizza, so uh, take some home if you want. That was the best party I've ever thrown. I feel like this is a straight upgrade to my other pistol, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, let's see. Man. Well, I'm going to start everywhere that isn't that, so... Those crystallists are right bastards, aren't they? The scientific term. If you could find out just what got up the crystallists' collective bomb and made them so cross, I'd be willing to pay you a pretty penny. Metaphorically, I'd be paying you a great deal more than a penny. It's just a saying I'm fond of. Off to the caustic caverns with you. Alright, and off this way. Also, I have a ping on Discord. Give me one minute. Okay, nothing to worry about. be civil. Good. Can't cry when I pull your lungs out through your chest. I wasted bullets on that. Maybe not that place then. Well, while I'm here, I'm going to do safe and sound. And then go anywhere else but here.
Dang it. No, no anger. Only die. Stuff that's above my level. So, how are things? <gasps> Welcome to my humble shop. Goodbye, friend. There we go. Now we run away. Now go kill your friends. Or me. You know, that's fine. Come here. We'll tussle. can't do anything else here either. Rocket launchers aren't booty in this game. I could actually use that. Oh. Huh. Never been inside of there. Interesting. What did that unlock? You're really just going to feed into my natural curiosity at this point, aren't you, game? Oh, shoot. Wasn't paying attention. I'm rising. Oh, bad idea. Never mind. I'm, I'm god like. Never mind. I'm not god like anymore. <laughs>
right. I hate that I've activated this switch, so now I don't want to go to where, where I've set myself to go because I could possibly get better loot. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Like it goes up there. Present? That present. I love your blood. Side, you can't jump. So, anyway, uh, they open this door. No, well, I opened something uh, in, in, around here with that flip of the switch. Unless that was literally just opening this door. Let's see. Got me access to this. Yeah. Well then. A longbow merv with no with no fuse time it is. Okay, now I can go out and do side quests. Duh, I don't want to go down. I want to go up. There is no way back up, is there? Fantastic. Well, there is one way back up. I don't want to go die. I 
god, it's just it's just so jarring to see Ellie's profile picture on the intercom because it looks way worse than it does in three. What looks worse? El, uh, Ellie's like when her when she comes up on the commission uh, comms radio, she looks so much worse than she does in in three. So plant explosives underneath it. Got it. Let's see. Let me just pop over. There we go. It's a death pit. Catch right in there. That works. Now the game said there was... Yes, there is. Alright, so I do have to go back around. I can't just drink a shortcut across the sands, or across the hills. Fair enough. Yeah. Why is that like that?
Oh. It's a zone. I thought it was like a door I'd open. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. the, uh, the back half of this place. Okay. I just have to give, get my entire eight foot tall man, man, man into the car. Sir, you're gonna need to move. Thank you. Ah, a new recruit. Welcome to the Zafford family. You didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did ya? Let me get you a drink. That's not how that works damn it it's dry those hodunks destroyed my distillery that's it the truth is all you bolt hunter let's talk you gonna help me get them hodunk bastards good if there's anything they love more than getting the stricken face with their sister I want you to get out there and ruin their race. Come into me, please. If you pick the right family in this war, boy, oh, ages back, one of the Hodunks drowned a few Zafford boys in the creek bed. After an ex-Hodunk killed me boy Lucky a few years back, we made a truce. But after what happened to our distillery, it sounds like the war's back on. This is, uh, awkward. Oh yeah, this is awkward. They're, uh, all, uh, they're all cornering him inside there so he can't progress. Move! This bastard right here. Okay, res reset it. Hey, look, Gamble. Fair enough. Nope, we reload the zone. Like a true man of culture.
I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. S Mr. Irishman. Okay, I'm coming. Don't well, you can gamble if you want to in Borderlands 3 Far, but I'm gonna tell you that event has been over for like a week and a half now, if not longer. Safe place to go. Okay, good. Getting a grenade mod or getting grenaded? Because that was that's still uh, getting grenaded is really easy to do. I'm also gonna take a stab and say that the only that you have to get uh, that uh, it has to be a very specific grenade mod if it is a grenade mod. Oh yeah, we they increased the grenade drops when we were when that event was going on. We did it. We, I think all of us died at least once doing that. Oh, wrong way. Imagine dying in Sanctuary. Don't act like you're innocent. Oh, well, I, I've died to... I, I, I died to Handsome Jack. <laughs> right. That, that's the thing that takes a real skill. Dying to a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Uh, whoa, and there it is. Hold on, let me look at the map. Okay, I am supposed to go drive around. Never take the most direct path. Listen, man, I am a far cry away from speedrunning this game. Also, I'm pretty sure speedrunning route probably involves using either zero or gauge. If it's accident, I'm going to call you a liar. Well, if that's the case, let me just get my car off the track so it's even more fun. The car is technically off the track. If they hit this, I'm going to be surprised. Once the cars reach 
Okay. One car is really lagging behind. Keep your eyes on the bridge, racing fans! You're about to see some sweet ass jump! The cars have almost reached the fireworks! Prepare for the bust hit some of the cars! Now get down there and finish off the rest! <laughs> It's like one of them got stuck getting out of the getting out of the gate. So yeah, we're here now. Can I just? Yeah, I can jump on this one. Well, now we got that talent tree over here. There we go. After this red harvest between the two clans, you're going to be the last man standing with a fistful of dollars. Yo, Jimbo. Okay. Can you hold that thought? I have a better shotgun I need to put on. Thanks. A out of ten. Okay. So let's buy the catch right over here. I'm gonna end up shooting you in the head. Alright, to the Highlands. Bad, badly programmed uh, threshold. Nailed it! Listen, if you don't do sick ass jumps off of everything, did you even drive a car? Dang it.
Zephyr's got a secret cash stash around here, but we ain't sure where. The Batman leaves the Zephyr bar every so often. Paul wants you to tail him to the stash, then rob the place. But don't get too close to him. Did he? He teleported. He teleported again. I hope my farming for 1% drops and not getting anything. It's good it is, is using up all the bad luck for uh, the Trigali effect. <laughs> oh boy! Have I played a gacha game in secret? The answer is maybe. I want to say, have you, have you collected, uh, have you d d uh, killed 100 things at least? It's like 75 for like a 2% chance. Boy, money. I love money. How did you know? Dude. It, we might be able to do it in the future, potentially, but I played, uh, I was playing Fortune Street with some other friends last night over Parsec. Yo, I missed that game. Fortune Street's just such a good time. That is, that is a good. For one person, at least. <laughs> this is true. Accurate. So let me look at some of these grenades, cause oh, oh well, yeah, run that. That's that's way better. Ooh. man, I'm gonna be so happy in like a couple days when I get. When I get uh, my new hard drives in, because I will stop having all of these issues. Well, not. Nice. Oh, really? I got, I basically got a same size SSD instead of a hard disk for where I've got a lot of my games stored on right now. 
And then I know one of my I know my hard drive where all my video stuff is is starting to, is starting to slow down, so I'm just getting another one to replace that. But then a 10 terabyte on top of that for storing all the raw video all video all the raw videos. Nailed it. Okay, it's probably best just to go around. I thought I could like swing inside. Insurance fraud. Stupid gate. Shotgun. So yeah, I'll probably enjoy this one better. Actually, I don't need to go that way. I can just come out here and then hang a hard right. Okay, so arriving at night, I wonder if I have to like sit outside and wait for night to fall before I do it. No, I don't know who I'm going to side with on this one. Zaffords probably have shields for whatever reason, Hodungs probably give an assault rifle. I don't know if I really need either. Uh, you want to scrap, let's scrap. They wanted this fight. I'm giving it to them.
Also, I want the extra achievements, the extra bits of achievements. So, how long does it take to get to nighttime? Now, catch hands. That works too. Oops. You saw everything. Cause like I'm actually trying to watch the shadows of the outside world. Like I'm just watching like how the shadows move to see when that happens, but it doesn't help. There's like no sun out here to see what's going on. And I don't want to sit here for another another five minutes. I'm to do this. Man, if only if only I was able to play as Mose, who has the time of day on on her wristwatch. We'll just shoot our guns in the air wildly, why not? Let's see, we'll see how far we get with this. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna stop at the top of the hour here, so. Well, yeah, because the, the evil Aikido bun is out then. Obviously, that's your priority. It ended up being my, it ended up being end up being my priority when it's like, oh hey, everybody's gonna be running this. I definitely want to try to to run it before I go to bed. We'll see if it's actually easy or not. If it looks like it's bullshit, maybe not. Either my eyes are playing tricks on me or the light's starting to get orange, which means it's getting to be sundown finally. Man. I was doing so well dur during this. Okay, it actually is getting sundown. Good. I was doing so well during this. Uh, during. The during this uh, lockdown period, like I actually was waking up at a decent time of day, going to bed a decent time all day, all that jazz, and then something happened like three or f three weeks, three weeks to like a month and a half ago, and it just like no, nah, I'm I'm on degenerate hours now. <laughs> yeah, I feel ya. Man, if only they put like a sun in the sky so you could determine what time of day it was. That sounds like crazy talk. There's an invisible wall right there. Eh, yes and no, far from I mean. Not to try and single you up, but I mean, for someone like yourself who tends to work the night shift, DJ hours are all you really know, I guess? But, someone like me who, when his job isn't, when he's able to go to his job, or is told he can work at his job, I'm up at 5 in the morning, and the rest of my family does not understand waking up any later than 7am. And it kind of sucks. 
But Shino was still living at home. Because it'd be go to bed at 5 a.m. Dad wakes up at 7 a.m. And now we get to see if he's going to wake me up with this coffee grinder or not. You never know, Parf. I mean, for you, it could happen that you get uh, that you get a promotion at some point, and you end up working on normal timetables, unless you're currently as high as you can get for some time, and this is the best you can do for a while. Then, oh boy, it's going to be a couple years then. Man, I love the fact that there's now a retry system in Jargalia. Did that just get added, or what? Yes. Damn far. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right, the headlights are on. Headlights are on. Must be dark. Get the gas tanks open. Then hit them with a fire weapon. This may seem brutal, but the hold up started this. Oh boy. I don't think I have a fire weapon, so I don't even think my grenade counts as fire. Unless they gave me one. What do you know? Now hit the tank with a fire weapon. Regular bullets will just bounce off. I don't apologize for this. What the hell's going on out there? Eh, 24-7 position may not be the worst thing, depending upon how you feel about things. I mean, yeah, you have to basically, you basically are on all at on call at all hours of the day, but the other side of it is... The, the other half of it is, you know, if nothing goes down, you're allowed to just kind of be... You're allowed to just kind of be, be out and do whatever you want. So it'll be like, yeah, some days you, some days you have to work a 12-hour day because somebody totally foobars something with this. But other days, it's like two, two hours of your day, check in, do a minor diagnostics, and then log off. Then again, there's also the other side of that of, hey, 
Uh, we need you. I just, I just got off work two minutes ago and I just got to bed. Yeah, but we need you. That may take some time. You know what? I think I think I'll uh, get I think I'll get back to Sanctuary. Hopefully my quest will stay selected, but I will uh, just pause the whole thing here. Let's see, we're here. Do I have enough iridium to buy upgrades for some of the guns I'm using? You yeah, I have one, which is enough. Anyway. Uh, did folks have any questions for me before I end off? This evening's stream, this evening's really late stream. Um, otherwise, I'll see if anybody else is live at the moment. I think you know, the only people that are live right now that yeah, I'll probably end up auto hosting anyway, who probably as means it's it, it say need, does need boost, is John. So I think I'll just let auto host good over to him. So, all right. Well, I'm going to end things off then. Thanks everybody for chilling out tonight in this weird predicament we've got going on. And I'll see you Thursday for something. I'm not sure what. Later. Later.